Have you ever wondered why a giraffe never set their feet in the Amazon jungle or why you won't find a kangaroo hopping around the Arctic? It's like trying to make a penguin wear a bikini, it just doesn't suit the environment. Today we're taking a whimsical journey into the wild to explore why animals choose their specific habitats. This isn't about preference, it's about survival, about thriving in the wild. Let's dive into the world of animal habitats. From the icy poles to the scorching deserts, habitats are as diverse as the animals that live in them. It's a spectrum, a rainbow of living conditions, each with its own unique charm and challenges. Imagine the Arctic, a world of ice and snow where temperatures can plunge to minus 40 degrees Celsius. It's like living in a freezer. Then there's the desert where the sun blazes down, turning sand into a hot plate and temperatures can soar to 50 degrees Celsius. It's like walking into an oven. And let's not forget the rainforest where humidity clings to you like a second skin and the temperature hovers around a steamy 30 degrees Celsius. It's like stepping into a sauna, but it's not just about the weather. Food also varies across these habitats. In the icy Arctic, food is scarce and often buried under layers of snow. Animals here have to be resourceful, hunting for seals or scavenging for carcasses. In contrast, the desert is a land of extremes. Food is hard to come by, forcing animals to adapt in remarkable ways, like the camel storing fat in its hump. In the rainforest, a buffet of biodiversity, brimming with fruits, nuts, and a smorgasbord of insects. These factors, weather, temperature, humidity, and food supply, all influence the types of animals found in each habitat. It's a bit like choosing a home. You wouldn't pick a house without a kitchen if you love to cook, right? Similarly, a polar bear wouldn't choose a desert home and a camel wouldn't opt for an Arctic abode. Imagine wearing a fur coat in the middle of a desert. Not quite the fashion statement, eh? Well, that's exactly how a polar bear would feel. Every animal is a master of adaptation, perfectly designed for its habitat. It's like they're wearing the right outfit for the right party. And that party is survival. Take the polar bear, for instance. It's not sporting that thick fur coat for style points. This is nature's version of an all-weather jacket, keeping them warm in the freezing Arctic temperatures. Underneath that fur is a layer of blubber, a kind of natural insulation that's better than any thermal wear you'll find in stores. On the flip side, consider the camel. If a polar bear is dressed for a winter gala, a camel is wearing beachwear. Those humps aren't just for show. They're storage units for fat, providing energy and hydration in the scorching desert heat. And those wide, flat feet? They're like natural sandals, preventing the camel from sinking into the sand. But it's not just about physical adaptations. Animals also have behavioral adaptations to survive in their habitats. Ever noticed how some birds fly south for the winter? That's not a vacation. It's a survival strategy. Escaping the harsh winter and chasing the warmth. In the grand scheme of things, every animal is a puzzle piece. Perfectly shaped to fit into the jigsaw of its habitat, it's lunchtime and you're a lion. Would you rather hunt in a dense jungle or an open savanna? Now imagine being a bird. Would you prefer to peck at the ground for worms or swoop down to snatch fish from a river? Our second reason why animals live where they do is the availability of food. Different habitats offer different menus, if you will, and animals have evolved to have specific dietary preferences and hunting techniques that match their surroundings. In the open savanna, for instance, a lion can use its speed and power to chase down a gazelle. In contrast, in the dense jungle, a stealthy jaguar might prefer to ambush its prey from the trees. Similarly, a bird that feeds on fish would obviously prefer a habitat near water, while one that eats insects might be equally at home in a forest or a field. But it's not just about what's on the menu, it's also about who else is dining there. Predators need to consider not only their prey, but also their competition. They need to balance the availability of food with the risk of running into other predators. So you see, the food chain isn't just a list of who eats whom. It's a complex game of strategy that helps determine where animals live. As they say in the wild, location, location, location. Remember, in the game of survival, it's eat or be eaten. Ever wondered why birds fly thousands of miles just to lay their eggs? Well, it's not because they fancy a bit of travel. 
Let's dive into the third reason why animals choose to live in different habitats, breeding and nesting requirements. It's a bit like house hunting for us humans, but instead of looking for a place with a pool or a two-car garage, animals are searching for the perfect environment to raise their young. Take sea turtles, for example. They voyage across vast oceans, returning to the very beach where they were hatched to lay their eggs. The soft sand and the absence of predators provide the perfect nursery for their future hatchlings. Or consider penguins. These tuxedoed parents brave the harsh Antarctic cold to nest in large colonies. Why? Because there's safety in numbers. With so many adults around, the chances of a predator getting their flippers on a vulnerable chick are considerably reduced. And let's not forget the salmon. These fish certainly know the meaning of a hard day's work. They swim upstream, battling fierce currents and leaping over waterfalls just to reach their spawning grounds. It's not a vacation, it's a mission. A mission to ensure the survival of their kind. Nature's real estate market is a complex game of survival driven by the need to breed and raise offspring in the safest, most nurturing environments. So the next time you see a bird building a nest, remember it's not just a home, it's a cradle for the next generation. So why does a polar bear never have a beach holiday in the Sahara? Now you know, animals reside in different habitats because of adaptation, food availability, and breeding needs. Like a jigsaw puzzle, each species has found its perfect fit in a habitat that caters to its survival. It's a fascinating dance of nature where the rhythm is set by the beat of survival. Remember, every animal has its place and every place has its animal. It's all part of the wonderful tapestry of life on Earth. As we wrap up this exploration into the world of habitats, we want to thank you for joining us on this journey. We've traversed the icy plains with polar bears, delved into the thick jungles with monkeys, and even took a peek into the desert with camels. We hope that you've enjoyed this adventure as much as we did, and more importantly, that you've learned something new about these amazing ecosystems and the creatures that call them home. Isn't it fascinating how nature weaves such a complex yet harmonious tapestry of life? If you found this journey enlightening and want to learn more about the natural world, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you more content like this, diving deeper into the mysteries of our planet and its astounding biodiversity. And so, until our next adventure, keep exploring, keep learning, and never lose your sense of wonder. After all, the natural world is full of surprises waiting to be discovered. Until next time, stay fascinated.